Located in Seattle, Coy's Center is a didactic and clinical dental program, featuring the latest advances in aesthetics, implant, and restoration dentistry. Dr. John Coy's heads a dedicated and talented staff offering a comprehensive nine-course curriculum created to help motivated dentists provide their patients with exceptional treatment results and ultimately better overall health. Dentistry historically has been based on a repair model, uh, replacing fillings or filling holes, replacing missing teeth. We're based on a health model. A health model requires predicting disease before patients sometimes have even expressed the disease. So it's much even fur it's further beyond than even prevention. In the past, this wasn't so easy because we had crude technology to try to evaluate patients. Well, things are changing. Now as technology is improved, the ways that we can evaluate patients are so much different. Uh, I feel it's analogous to that show CSI. You know, I've always been very jealous of all the cool technology they've had. Well, we have some of that technology for our patients as well. Now more than ever, a trip to the dentist can do more than improve your smile. Thanks to continuing improvements in innovative technology, dentists have ways to determine a patient's risk of systemic disease. We have the technology now to evaluate those individual characteristics so that it may not be a neglect or patient's neglect that is responsible for the disease. It may be their individual susceptibility that we can evaluate in new ways. There are relationships to cardiovascular health, to the fact of whether you're a diabetic or not, or whether you smoke, or there may be other serious diseases that we actually can intervene with. For instance, in cancer screening, or on some of the medications that patients are on that create dry mouth that could be increasing their risk for dental decay. And many patients are being put at risk because of some of their other diseases. And if we can create a role, a more significant role, that could help in that management, we actually may be able to reduce their dental health needs. Through proper education, research, and innovation, Dr. Coys is changing the mindset of existing practitioners. Dr. Coys believes the public can benefit from shifting the dental health care concept from a reparative model to a wellness model. In the past, dental health problems have been related to neglect when in fact they are diseases of susceptibility. At Coy Center in the Pacific Northwest, Dr. Coys and his staff are showing exactly what responsible dentistry can do for people. We evaluate patients very comprehensively, but in a very simple way, it breaks down to only four main categories. Gum and bone, all about how much bone support you have to hold your teeth in. That's the first one. The second one would be your individual teeth. Do they have holes? Do they have cracks? And what would they be like to sustain the bite forces that are necessary to keep the teeth intact? That's all about your teeth. The third one is the bite and how you chew and your jaw joint. Is it a problem? And the fourth one are simply smile characteristics. Do you like the way the teeth are in your face? Not just the color, but the shapes of the teeth, the position of the teeth. There's so much more to appropriate smiles than just the color and the shape and the edges. We have new technology to assess risk. We have a DNA analysis to test your risk potentially for periodontal disease. We have an evaluation to assess the biofilm acidic content in your mouth to determine your risk for maybe dental caries or dental decay. Problems that all can be fixed. There are so many patients out there today that are having problems that can be managed when they're evaluated in a comprehensive way, not in a reparative way. Utilizing a risk management system provides a unique approach to dentistry based on the most current evidence directly related to an individual's dental health concerns. By identifying high-risk areas, what Dr. Coys calls red areas, and then taking specific steps to reduce these risks, Dr. Coys moves the dental health concerns from red to green. This going green philosophy not only underlines the treatment that he provides to his own patients, but he also teaches this philosophy to dental professionals from around the world so that they can take this going green wellness model and risk management system back to their patients.
we make a very important effort to evaluate the individual patient's susceptibility and we actually develop a risk profile for every single patient that we see in practice. And the dentists that have been coming here and been using the risk profile are far better equipped to manage these patients comprehensively and hopefully allow them to keep their teeth for the rest of their life. New advances in dentistry can yield a much more comprehensive approach to dental health needs. Facilities like the Koi Center are working on ways to reduce the risk of future disease and improve the longevity of their existing dental treatment. The Koi Center is working toward advancing dentistry through science to provide a better health care model for all patients. Patients typically will tell me at the end of the examination, I have never been evaluated like that in my life. When I hear that, I really understand that we're on the right track. As we begin to create clarity so that everyone understands exactly where they are in their oral health, they are really much more empowered to make their own decisions and be helpful as a co-therapist with the dentist in arriving at treatment decisions that are best for their needs. I wanted to have the best smile I could possibly have. My teeth came in small. It was something I was born with and I needed to have restorations done to them to complete my smile. I had seen other dentists. Um, I didn't have very good response with um, what they could do for me as far as my smile and having um, you know, the best smile I could get. So that's why I came to see Dr. Goyce. He looked at my teeth, um, talked about some possibilities and then some permanent solutions to um, restoring my teeth, which were the veneers. Now when I smile, um, more confident with my smile. People notice that. People notice that I'm confident about, you know, looking them in the face and seeing that I have a beautiful smile and then I get that feedback from people as well. And so it's been a wonderful change for me. The best part about my smile is that it's healthy and it's beautiful and it's me. Yeah, Dr. Coyce was recommended to me from my dentist. Uh, he basically stated that uh, there was a world-renowned specialist in, located in Seattle and uh, that I had the opportunity to go and see and, and really analyze my bite and make sure that we could get it as perfect as we could. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to get in, see Dr. Coyce, and it's been a great experience. So he was able to align my bite perfectly. Then once we did that, my front teeth had had quite a bit of wear from grinding and so forth, and uh, we opted to go for uh, veneers as well. Dr. Coyce, just being the best at what he does, was able to give me exactly what I wanted, which was just a natural, um, non-fake looking smile. And, and uh, I just feel fantastic. It's given me a lot of confidence. I feel a lot healthier. And, and uh, certainly I'm taking care of my teeth like I probably should have been all along. If I'm actually eating better, um, you know, I'm working out more and, and just feeling a lot more confident. It's been great. I happen to be blessed by having also a family component to this business. My son is a prosthodontist and soon to be surgeon as well. My daughter-in-law has a family dental practice here on premises. My wife has been involved in the business aspects of the center. It's, it's really been just a joy. I have another son that's involved in all the computer aspects of the center, so it's quite the family business as well. We've developed a research laboratory to do research in unique ways to test restorations to see how they would withstand normal chewing or things that patients normally do to their restorations. I have so many dentists that originally tell me, oh, this might not work in my city, this might not work in my practice, and when they come back, they are shocked. It's really where the future is. People want to know about their health. Not just can you improve their smile, but they really want to know about their comprehensive dental health. They want to know of how it may impact their overall health. It's where I'm certain the future of healthcare is.